We all know that a lot is changing in the realm of commerce, and much of this is driven by us as customers and consumers. We expect immediate information and relevant engagement, and we have little patience for companies that don't provide access to the information and products that we want, and we demand an engaging experience that matches the way we want to communicate. In fact, according to an IBM study, 85% of consumers expect a seamless experience across all channels. This not only involves a seamless online shopping experience that we're all familiar with, but the fast and accurate fulfillment of their orders across a variety of channels. Another big area of change in commerce is the unprecedented speed of business required to serve the empowered customer. There's no room for error and no time for delays. Companies must collaborate and communicate in real time or near real time with their partners and suppliers to meet the demands of their customers. These changes are impacting both B2B and B2C companies, blurring the lines between wholesale and retail demand of fulfillment activities. They're also transforming B2B and B2C customer requirements and expectations, as well as the goals of B2B and B2C companies. Both B2B and B2C companies are trying to serve customers that are increasingly using digital channels to shop across multiple devices. At the same time, they're using traditional channels. They're also trying to reach a wider shopper base to sell products. Both B2B and B2C companies must differ differentiate from competitors by delivering dynamic and engaging shopping experience, and they need to better respond to customer demands to shop anytime and anywhere seamlessly across multiple channels. But for many B2B firms, it's not the adoption of digital channels that's a major concern. Many of them are already incorporating these as part of their e-commerce activities today. They are very concerned with integrating these channels and executing them effectively with the rest of their business activities. B2B companies must provide today's business buyers with the same consumer-like experiences as they research, purchase, and utilize products. They must interact with customers across multiple channels and devices while making sure that the content delivered to each touch point is consistent and optimized based on that particular customer's needs. All of this presents unique challenges to B2B companies in particular, and as the volume of B2B e-commerce is continuing to increase, already surpassing B2C e-commerce, it's critical to understand these challenges and how to address them. I'm here today with Brian Vall, Vice President and Director of Aberdeen Group's Supply Chain Management Research Practice. Brian has done extensive research on this topic of B2B and B2C convergence. Brian, could you describe what B2B companies are facing? Sure, Lori. B2B companies are facing an evolving business model requiring support in much the same manner as, as the three-legged stool. They have their own traditional B2B business. That's, that's what they know. And they, they, when you say that, that means truckload, pallet load, case load. They're used to doing that. That's their mantra day in, day out, supporting other businesses. And then they've also got their own e-commerce initiative that they may have launched internally. But that's not the bulk of their business, but it's something that they also do. But then they also now have a new boss in town, which is the customer, okay? And it may not be, it could be their customer's customer, but now they're supporting their customer's e-commerce channels. So for example, think in terms of the customer wants it and it's not in stock at the stores or the DCs, but it needs to come out of my warehouse. Mm -hmm. So I'm shipping next day, same day delivery to you know backstop them and their ability to support the new fickle customer who wants it I want to order it from anywhere and ship to exactly where I want it and right. or pick it up in the store of you know some other realm that I hadn't considered. So all those options, okay, create real challenges. Right. And so when I describe, you know, supporting, you know, their their e commerce initiative of their customers, that's what I'm talking about. And then I wanna, you know, make that come to life a bit to explain that a little bit. As an example, what that may mean is where I traditionally, as I discussed, moving you know truckloads or pallet loads or caseloads, serving that end customer, I'm now shipping each load or each picks right. or one single item. So, you know that's the challenges. At, you know where I used to do this, now I'm doing this. Everybody can handle a one-off situation. Right. The the point is that's increasing, and that's that's the, the where the convergence is beginning to occur. 
Absolutely. It, because we as consumers, we, we expect that. We, we don't really think about what goes into that. We've had so many compelling and personalized and fast shipping experiences with B2C companies. Most of us just kind of struggle to understand why B2B companies just can't keep up. Just go ahead and enable that and deliver the same type of experiences we expect we have as B2C uh, as consumers. So what makes it so challenging? I know you talked about the, the breaking apart from large shipments down to each, but what do they have to do differently in order to support this three-legged stool? Sure. Um, as a B2B provider and a B2C partner, supporting them you know, requires end-to-end um, -end integration and re-engineering of operations as well as new approaches across the people, process, and technology, not to be trite, but, you know, I've, I've really got to do some re-engineering everywhere. Mm -hmm. Again, anybody can handle the one-off, but it's when I have to do this systemically right. and routinely. That's a different, that's a different ball game. To tie the segments together, B2B companies must focus on building an integrated system to manage cross-channel orders from point of entry to shipment and settlement, regardless of the source, and with visibility to real-time inventory, order status, and location. For fulfilling across these multiple segments, B2B companies will need the ability to pick, pack, and ship orders seamlessly across channels from multiple sites while providing feedback and order status in basically real time. Traditionally for B2B, these are, as I mentioned, the case pallet and truckload. But now you have to, to talk about each pick. So now I'm, I've got to integrate seamlessly with the big orders I have. Mm -hmm these single orders. Think of what that may mean to me in terms of my distribution, warehousing, and even the trucking suppliers or, or, or transportation suppliers that show up at my dock every day. Mm -hmm. It's a different mix. And I have to handle those unique packages, report on those, and communicate on those You know, differently. Those are real time, same day, next day kinds of orders. Mm -hmm. Different than maybe replenish within a week type of orders. So, all my infrastructure to support that needs to be considered. Not to pick on anyone at the moment, but realize it, as you start to say, well, what's it gonna take? You have to start with what's changing, and that's right. what's changing. And realizing that starts to make you walk through all my processes to understand where those differences are. Thank you, Brian, for that information. Supporting each of these three B2B commerce segments has many more challenges that must be addressed. We are going to explore this in our next segment.